guys. So for this video, we're going to be looking at angle relationships and different ways that angles can relate to each other. So looking at the top here, we have vertical angles. And that's two angles that are across from each other on intersecting lines. Okay, so if we have two lines that intersect one another like this, these angles right here are going to be vertical. So if we have them labeled one, two, three, and four, these one and two are going to be the same. So I got to draw two tick marks, two little angle marks on it to show that the ones with two angle marks are the same and the ones with one angle marks are the same. So they're always congruent to one another. So the vertical angles here are the ones directly across the vertex to each other. So they're not next to each other. So one and three aren't the same, but one and two are and three and four are because they're directly across from each other. So angle one is congruent to angle two and angle three is congruent to angle four. So the ones that are directly across from each other are vertical angles. Next, let's look at a linear pair over on this side. So two angles that are adjacent to each other. So right next to each other, let's actually go ahead and look at that one first. So adjacent angles are just two angles that are right next to each other and they share a common side. So if we have an angle that looks like this, bad picture, but if we have an angle that looks like this, angle one and two are adjacent because they share this side. They're right next to each other, they touch each other. So a linear pair are two angles that are adjacent to each other and they're supplementary, so they add to 180 degrees. So angle one and angle two here form a straight line together, so they're a linear pair. So they're supplementary, so angle one plus angle two is gonna be 180 degrees. So a linear pair is just two angles that are adjacent or right next to each other and touch each other and form a straight line. And if we go down here, complementary angles are two angles that add to give you 90 degrees. So if you have a 90 degree angle, and these two angles, one and two here, make up that angle. So angle one plus angle two, see if I can write, angle one plus angle two are gonna add to give you 90 degrees. They give you a right angle together. And then supplementary are two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. So if this one's 135 degrees, for example, and this one's 45 degrees. They just add to give you 180 and make a straight line. Now if we go to the next part of this, we're just going to go through and identify these types of angles. So we're looking at angle one and two here on number one. We can see that they are straight across from each other through the vertex, but they don't touch each other. So they're not adjacent because they don't share one of the sides. They have separate sides. They're vertical because they are straight across from each other. If we go back and look, vertical angles are straight across from each other. So like three and four here, those two are vertical, one and two. Are they complementary? Complementary means they add to 90 degrees. We don't know what their degrees are, so we can't say that they do. We can't say that they're supplementary, and we can't say that they're a linear pair because we can't tell if they add to 180 and they're not right next to each other and they're not adjacent. Looking at number two, we are looking at angle one and angle two. So they are adjacent because they share this side. So they're right at touching each other against each other. So they're adjacent. They're not vertical because they're not like these ones. They share a side, so they're not vertical. Complementary means they add to 90 degrees. You can see that this side over here is 90 degrees. So this side over here is gonna be the same. So they do add to 90 degrees. So they make up a 90 degree angle or a right angle. So they're complementary. They do not make up the entire straight line. They only make up this half of it. So they're not supplementary. And since they don't make up the entire straight line, they are not a linear pair. So if we look at number three, we can see that we're looking at angle one and angle two. Seeing if they're adjacent, you have to see if they share a side and if they're right next to each other. They share this side and they touch each other on that side. So they are right next to each other. So they are adjacent. If they're adjacent, then they're not vertical, because if they're vertical, we'd be like looking at angle two here and this angle over here, be across the vertex and they don't share a side. They're not complementary because they don't make up a right angle, but they do make up a straight line all together here, you can see, okay? Since they make up a straight line, if we just ignore this part of it, 
they make up a straight line. Since they make up a straight line, then they are supplementary because they add to 180. And since they do add to 180, and since they are adjacent to one another, by definition, they're a linear pair. Looking at number four, these two angles share a side here, so they're adjacent. They're not vertical since they're adjacent to one another since they touch each other. They're not complementary because we don't know that this is a right angle. If it had a little corner here, then we could say that it was, but it doesn't. We don't know that they're supplementary because they don't make up a straight line. If it was like that, then it would, but it's not. And it's not a linear pair because again, it doesn't make up a straight line. Looking at number five, we can see that these are marked, that they're the same angle here. But we're looking at angle one and two. So these are vertical. They're not adjacent because they don't share a side, angle one and two. They are vertical. They go straight across the vertex to one another, okay? So they're vertical angles. You can remember that because the word vertex, they share the vertex, but they don't touch each other. You can see it's right across from each other like that. This one's actually gonna be the same as that one. So we can draw that line with a little tick mark. Complementary means that they add to 90 degrees. And actually, since we know that this one right here is 90 degrees, we know that this is 90 degrees, okay? And even though they're not right next to each other, we know that this is the same as this angle. So that's also angle two, we could label it that way and they do add to 90 degrees. They add up to this right angle here. Since this is 90, this is 90, because it makes a straight angle with that one. They're not supplementary, angle one and angle two, because they don't make up a straight line, and they're not a linear pair, because again, they don't make up a straight line. Okay, number six. Since we know that these are all 90 degrees, if one of them is in this little four-way intersection kind of thing where the two lines meet at one point, Okay, one and two are adjacent, or not adjacent, sorry, because they do not share any of the rays on the sides. They are vertical, because they're right across the vertex to one another, they're the same. They're not complementary. You can see that they're both 90 degrees, so they don't add up to 90 degrees. But if angle one and angle two are both 90 degrees, then they do add up to 180. So by definition, they're supplementary because supplementary angles are just angles that add up to 180, but they're not a linear pair because they're not adjacent to one another. In order to be a linear pair, they have to be adjacent to one another. So right here, they may add up to 180 degrees, but since they're not like this, making up a line together, they're not a linear pair. So let me know if you have any questions with these. This is just determining which angles are which. And I will see you in the next video, which you're going to watch in just a second. Thank you, guys. Bye.